Boys and girls, this is Frank again, and right now we're going to be discussing hair. I'm not going to show you how to do it. I'm going to just show you what I've done. Uh, this is a picture by Steph, Stephen Grosjean, uh, and his website is stephengrosjean.com, so go check out his wonderful photographs. It was used with permission, so don't use nobody's photos without them verbally giving you permission or written permission or something some kind of permission all right what we did here is this is the original photo now take that off i'll show you what i've worked on so far on the face and i have been doing a detailed mess on the face i did that because the face is gonna is what gonna bring the image out bring this vector out so i had to get the face right and I'm going to do some more touch-up things on the face, like put some sh uh, strokes, hair strokes on the eyelashes and bring out the eyebrows a bit. But all this is meshed. I'll show you here. Put in outline mode. That's what we got right now. But with this hair, what I did was uh, I created two pieces for the main section. Uh, did a piece underneath on my bottom layer here. Hair main one. Did a little mesh work on it. And I created a second piece, hair main two for this back side. It's up top here. I chose to do this layer here underneath because I wanted to go under the face and just get some structure to bring back up the original again. So you see, basically, I'm just covering up these solid areas of where the original hair was. I'm going to take that back off and bring up hair main two. Hair main two is just a connecting piece that covered the back section of the head. Let me bring it back up so you can see and we'll see what I cover up. Okay. Now from here I added strokes. I just played around with uh, the Voodoo Illustrator brush that I, I showed you on the hair tutorial and did some strokes about uh, the size was uh two points and transparency ranging from 35 to 50 sometimes i went to 25 15 depending on how light or dark i wanted to get the the hair strokes so i got my first hair strokes layer here i'm gonna bring it up and this is just the underneath stuff that i do just to range it out you see this section right here where the ear is i'm gonna cover that with hair strokes won't be able to tell the difference all right, so I'm gonna bring up my first set of hair strokes. See that? Looked like shit, don't it? <laughs> it's all good. See what I did was, uh, well here I had, I just wanted to bring in the white highlights and brought in these little strands all around, all around here. And I got my little hair palettes over here, so I can just uh, use the eyedropper tool to bring those up. I had more. I deleted them, obviously, but yeah not much to see here just playing around it's just like illustrator when i mean uh photoshop when you're painting painting their strokes and then you do more on another layer and do all the other um outline and what, 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 what am i looking for you can do out a little uh right here like burn multiply i don't do none of that but it's the same technique and i'm gonna bring in my top layer that goes above this and you just dramatically see the difference of using layers to build up your hair just build it up in sections do the underneath the mid-tones and the, the highlight stuff but I did all mine on two two layers so here is the finish version so I use uh, brown strokes white strokes black strokes and came out nice I wasn't really trying to nail the original image I just wanted to play with the hair and give some just give some texture and depth to it just add something to it that'll make it look good so that's basically what I was going here uh, uh, on this just just some cool that looks good that flowed with the original hair but not necessarily the same hairstyle so here is the original image got the little curls here and got a little fluff there and I just went crazy I just started playing with the brush and, and went crazy with my strokes and these are many strokes many many 
I'm going to put it in an outline mode so you can get an idea of how many strokes. Just a lot of stuff going on. And uh, and the reason I, I bring my opacity down to 15 in certain areas, um, because it splits between, like if I have multiple strokes here, if I have a four-point stroke and bring that opacity down to 15, it'll split in between and give like a, a, a little transparent look to it. So it'll add depth with the black strokes and the brown strokes and then I might add white strokes then come back on top and put more black strokes. So it's just, just different techniques of playing. Just playing around man and just keep flowing and whatever looks good just go with it. But this is a cool image. Uh, it caught my eye like six months back and I found this guy Stefan on DeviantArt and got permission to well, to use his images, look through his gallery, and here's the picture. But yeah, when you do do hair, just try different things. I mean, you don't have to do the same thing. I think the hair actually came out realistically. I mean, most people go and complain about the hair, and but I actually like it. And that's all I'm going for. What I like, and I hope you guys like what I like. If not, I'm not going to change it anyway, so it don't really matter. <laughs> Oh yeah, here's my other strokes I use for my little my little palette just to I say different colors like this the black you'll see over here on the palette. Click on it. Uh, here we go. Click on it. And this is a black stroke. This is like a bluish stroke which looks white when you turn the opacity down on it. And this is a brown stroke and I don't know what this one is. Uh, it's probably like a just a black but yeah I just play around with stuff I use three different three different strands of hair colors here blue black and brown and just blending them all together and got what I got here jumbled piece of mess but I, I like it but okay then uh, this is just a little quick quick tips on how I did the hair and uh, having a question next time I try to uh, when I do one I'm a I'm gonna do the hair right there so you guys can see because the hair is tricky but it can be fun at the same time but until next time guys like always peace